Assalamualaikum. Hai. Anda bersama dengan saya Afiq Syazwan dan saya Wani Kiri dalam Dede TV. TV. Ha, inilah dia program khas untuk pelajar-pelajar SPM, yeah. calon-calon SPM yang akan menduduki peperiksaan SPM 2020 tak lama mm -hmm. lagi. Sebab kita tahulah kan SPM yeah. 2020 ni yang paling mencabarlah kan di musim Betul. pandemik ni nak mm -hmm. dapatkan ilmu secukupnya memang susah. Yeah. Jadi itulah dia. Adanya Didik TV di sini untuk memberi panduan, mm -hmm. tips maupun teknik untuk menjawab soalan yeah. SPM nanti. Dan, dan hmm. kami pun nak ingatkan juga program yang akan bersiaran setiap hari untuk pelajar-pelajar semua memahami lebih mendalam setiap mata pelajaran yang akan diajarkan setiap hari oleh guru-guru yang berbeza. Ya. Yeah. Hmm. Dan, dan hari juga ini, subjek yang berbeza. Ya. Yeah. Dan hari ini subjek kita adalah bahasa Inggeris kertas satu. Ha. Tapi siapa gerangan guru? yang akan mengajar yeah. pada hari ini ya. Betul. Ha, dengan mm -hmm. cerita cikgu ni best. Ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Berpengalaman mengajar bahasa Inggeris dari SMK Sungai Besi. Yep. Nama yang diberi adalah Cikgu Joanna dan nak dengar kata hmm. ada gelaran nama yang sangat popular di kalangan yeah. pelajar-pelajar semua. Hmm. Nak tahu kita kena sembang lebih panjang dengan Cikgu kita nanti yeah. lah. Tanpa buang masa, uh -huh. mari kita bersama dengan Cikgu Joanna. Yeah. Assalamualaikum Cikgu. Waalaikumsalam Wani and Afiq. Yeah. How are you teacher? I'm fine, thank you. And hmm. as you said just now, hmm. okay, my nickname you can call hmm. me Madam Jojo. Madam okay. Jojo. Oh. Madam Jojo. Okay. Yeah. Teacher, so today we are going to mix our language. Mm. Afi going to talk BM. Why not today? I can talk about Bahasa Melayu dan juga Bahasa Inggeris. No problem. Because we know that some students are not really fluent in talk talking English. Yeah, so Afi ada, Afi ada. Afi akan terangkan kepada anda. So teacher, today we are going uh, to know more into English Paper One. So what do you have with you, teacher, today? We okay. going to start here. Now, basically, mm -hmm. when we are talking about Paper One, mm -hmm. yep. it's an AC paper. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Now, Wani, do you remember? Do you like writing essays? I love writing. Okay. Not just English, I love writing in any subjects also. Okay. What about you, Afiq? Do you like writing? Uh, <laughs> mungkin semua lelaki tahulah. <laughs> yes, that's the same for answer. Now, it's okay, but for your SPM, mm -hmm. you have to do it. You've yeah. got no choice. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Either you like it or not, you have to write your essay. So, paper one, we're talking about essay. So, let me introduce okay. to the paper. Mm -hmm. All right. So, the first one will be, okay, you need to know about paper one mm -hmm. is there are two questions we mm -hmm. call it section A and section B. Mm -hmm. Now, for section A, we call it directed writing. Writing. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is where you have a formatted essay. Mm -hmm. You are being guided. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure one you still remember, yes. right? <laughs> and then only 45 minutes mm -hmm. to answer. No word limit. Mm -hmm. But remember. Since it's only 45 minutes, you have to limit your writing. Mm -hmm. Don't go over. Mm. You're so excited, you want to write like four pages for 300 mm -hmm. and 400. No need, because the mark will be the same. 35. 35. Mm -hmm. So here, I'm going to stress on how you are going to answer in the time limit given, mm -hmm. but you still can score the best mark possible. Oh, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So right? now, before we look into section B, let's focus here, section A. Let's see what happened. Okay, the format. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, you have to remember, for directed writing, there are five format that mm -hmm. you have to remember. Mm -hmm. All the candidates have to remember. Why? Because by knowing the right format, you will get points. Mm -hmm. You see, there's three. One, two, three. So, three mark is already given to you freely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Provided mm -hmm. you know which format to use. Okay. This is informal letter. Mm -hmm. This is how the format look like. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, usually students, they don't look into this. They think it's not important. Mm -hmm. But actually, this will give you marks. one mark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, This will give you marks, okay? Yeah. Okay, it will give you mark. Okay, now, here. Okay, okay. by writing the right format, okay, mm -hmm. you will get marks mm -hmm. easily, all right? Okay. Okay, then this is first informal, then formal letter. Mm -hmm. Then we go to the next one will be... Okay, a report there. Report. Right, report. Mm -hmm. Okay, usually, nowadays, when you write a report, this is the format that you will see. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, look at this part. One, two, three. That will give you your marks. Mm -hmm. That will give you the three marks over here. Yeah. Okay, then, the fourth one will be articles. Right? Article. Mm -hmm. Now, 
Can you see the difference between this one, this four, and article? Hmm. What can I see? Apa yeah. yang kita nampak perbezaannya adalah dari segi format. Yes. Mm -hmm. Only two marks given here. Yes. Yeah, all right. The rest will give you one to three, one to three. Here also will give you three marks, half mm -hmm. mark, half mark, and then three marks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Only this one. This is the odd one. Wait. Let me explain the last. Mm -hmm. one. Okay. This is how you write your articles, and the last format will be. Speech. Speech. Mm -hmm. Again, you can see there, mm -hmm. three marks. Okay, why? Why only article will give you two marks? So what happened to the one mark? Mm -hmm. Okay, here, this is where you have to know your format. Mm -hmm. The moment you see two marks for the format of an article, mm -hmm. automatically one more mark will go to your content. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. So that's why, if you see, teacher, why is it three here and then only one, two? Mm -hmm. Because this will have more marks for content. Mm. Okay, teacher, right? I would like to ask okay. for the article, um, how many paragraphs is that compulsory that we have to write? Okay, now usually anywhere you go in this world, mm -hmm. a good essay must consist of at least five paragraphs. Five, five paragraphs, paragraph. okay. The first, we call it introduction. Mm -hmm. Okay, the second one is point one. Mm -hmm. Sec third one is point two. And then point three, and mm -hmm. the last one is the concluding paragraph. Concluding. So mm -hmm. anywhere you go in this world, it won't change. Mm -hmm. A best, a good essay must consist of at least mm -hmm. five. five. Okay. If you want to have more, no problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. But okay. All right. the minimum requirement for the paragraph, it's five. Okay. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Faham? Yes. So Afif? far memang Cik Afif faham. Pelajar right. semua faham. Cuma okay. kita memerlukan inilah dia antara format yang kita kena tahu Betul. supaya kita mudah untuk membuat sesebuah esay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay? Alright. Because it's all given. Mm -hmm. So, um, usually when it comes to English, mm -hmm. student rest it's too difficult. They say, yeah, oh, yeah. English is difficult. I don't yeah. want to write. Mm -hmm. But at least by knowing this, three marks will be given to them. Mm -hmm. Section B. Section B. Okay. okay. Now, this is the best part. Mm -hmm. Here is where you can write anything you want. Mm -hmm. We call True. it continuous writing. <laughs> okay. 350 words. But sometimes, students, candidates, they are too excited. Mm -hmm. yeah. They want to write more. Is it okay? It's okay. But <laughs> look at the time given. Only one hour. Only, Only one hour. One hour. Mm -hmm. So students have to work with the time. Mm -hmm. okay? Okay. You don't have one day or 24 hours to answer your questions. True. Okay? Mm -hmm. Make sure you practice writing within one hour for 350 word plus minus. Yeah. Okay, jadi madam, kalau macam 350 patah perkataan, kalau kita buat lebih daripada 350 okay. patah Okay, no problem. No yeah. problem, Afiq. Mm -hmm. You can write more, but not until 1,000 words. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's too much, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, don't go exit until few hundred words, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Because you have to look at this, the time Don't factor. waste your time, mm -hmm. guys. Yes, That's because the mark will be 50 marks. 50 marks. Mm -hmm. If you write four pages, mm -hmm. you write Six pages, the mark will be 50 marks. 50, okay, yes. Still the same marks. Now, all right. Uh, Next one. Oh, okay. No, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Now, when we talk about section B, mm -hmm. you will be given, like just now, you got no choice. You have to answer the questions given. Mm -hmm. True. Okay? But for section B, no worries. You will mm. be given choice. Mm -hmm. There are five questions. This is 2019 XPM. Okay. okay. See, five. Mm -hmm. So you have to choose how many? Only one. one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, this is where the catch. Okay. Now, students or candidates, they usually choose the one they, their teacher asks them to choose. Yeah. Okay. For this part, it's you. Mm -hmm. What's the best for you? Mm -hmm. Choose the questions that you have all the advantage, mm -hmm. right? Because if you look here, there are five different types of essays. Mm -hmm. You have descriptive essay, narrative essay, you have uh, argumentative essay. So ask yourself, which one is my strength, mm -hmm. okay, my strong point? Which one is where I know all the points, mm -hmm. right? Because yeah. you have to remember, when you are answering this question, the mark is at stake. 50 marks, that's a lot. Yes. If you sure. want to score, this is the questions, 50 marks. Mm -hmm. So you have to do well for this part, all yes. right? So that's why, look at the, take some time 
to look at the questions. Mm -hmm. But don't take until 20 minutes to read the questions, <laughs> just mm -hmm. maybe five minutes. Yeah. So make up your mind. Because usually candidates, they have this problem. I call it problem because at first, they look at the first one. Oh, it's quite easy, number mm -hmm. one. Okay, I choose number one. Just grab. But after half an hour, I don't have any ideas. Mm -hmm. Choose, change, number four. Mm -hmm. So they are wasting their times. That's not the way. That's why take takes some time, five minutes to think, which one is the best question mm -hmm. for me to answer? Again, I stress for the candidate, not for anyone else. Okay, as I'm saying just now, if you have chosen your questions, okay, mm -hmm. make sure you think carefully and then please write a brief draft mm -hmm. before you start writing. Mm -hmm. Why? Because once you start writing, you won't remember all the points. Yeah. yeah. Once you get the hang of it, oh, you forgot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so please write down a short draft. Okay. So for you to remember mm -hmm. whatever you have up here. Okay, jadi madam, ada tak apa-apa tips yang boleh madam bagi cara yang paling menarik untuk kita siapkan draft okay, kita. Okay, that one I will show you later. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, bukan Let, sekarang. Yes, okay. I have that one is the tips. Okay, later on, alright. Okay. Now let's Terlalu look at the. Terlalu cepat pula saya tak sabar. No problem, <laughs> think, no problem. <laughs> Excited. Alright, now these are the few topics that all language students need to master. Mm -hmm. There are few things. Sure. Obviously, the first one you need to know your grammar. Grammar. Yes. Grammar is very That's important. That's the basic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In any language, you need to master the grammar, mm -hmm. and then spelling. Mm -hmm. Some, some, sometimes you say, "Oh, spelling, no problem." Okay, yeah. just a minor error. But if you make this mistake often, mm -hmm. all along your essay, one mistake, two mistake, three mistake. It's going to be a fact. Yes, yeah, it's yeah, going yeah, to be. Yeah. It's going to affect your marks. Mm -hmm. Even if it's small um, spelling error, yes. will it deduct okay. our mark? Yes. Oh, only Just imagine one, word. one. Okay, this is how you're going to get your marks. Mm -hmm. Fifty marks is given to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. The moment you make a mistake, they duck. They duck. Okay. So until you end up with, all right. Okay. So, so that's your okay. final marks. So we will give mm -hmm. you all the fifty marks. Okay. But the moment you make spelling mistake, grammar mistake. Minus. They will start deducting yes. until your marks is <laughs> yes, less that's than how, 50. That's how okay, it works. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 So please, so I said, people always say spelling, it's very easy, yeah. mm -hmm. too simple. Mm -hmm. Just one or two words. Mm -hmm. But no problem. Mm -hmm. It's going to affect later on. When we look at the whole essay, oh, so many mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely your mark will be deducted. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, then you look at vocab. Now, this is where I find it funny because some students, they think by using bombastic word, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay, uh, word that they never heard, okay, mm -hmm. usually they will get more marks. Not correct not, not, at all, mm -hmm. okay. Not all the time. Once in a while, yes. Okay, okay? faham. If you want to impress us, the teacher, mm -hmm. no need to write every sentence. Mm -hmm. using bombastic one or two will be nicer now the last part now this is where you can differentiate between a c student d mm -hmm. or a plus student okay yeah. this is the place where you can do your differentiation okay if you are a good student you should know four type of sentence structure because this will give you higher marks mm -hmm. right now let's look at the four types now i'm sure you know this one Mm -hmm. Very simple. simple okay, Sim we call it simple sentence. All mm -hmm. right. Okay. So, as in BM, you have subject and predicate in a sentence. Yeah. So it's very simple. I don't like dogs. Everyone knows the meanings. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we call this simple sentence. Mm -hmm. This is what you should know. Mm -hmm. I'm sure everyone knows this. All the candidates, because you have been studying this since you want until now in form five. Yes. Right? So true. this is very simple. Okay, let's move on to the next one. We call it compound sentence. Now, compound. This is where, if you want to have a good mark, you're going to use this. Mm -hmm. Here, we are using coordinating conjunction, mm -hmm. right? There are seven here. Okay, so in order to make a compound sentence, the formula. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, even though I'm teaching, teaching English, but I'm using formula. Formula is very, is very simple, mm -hmm. all right? Where you have to combine two simple sentences. Okay. Remember, two simple sentences, okay? Yeah. Uh, for example, just now, I don't like dogs. I, I'm going to combine with my sister doesn't like cats. cats. Okay, let's look. And, and is the yes. conjunction. Yes, conjunction used here is and. Mm -hmm. All right, I don't like dogs. And, and my sister doesn't, doesn't like, like cats. cats. So mm. this is what we call compound 
sentence, sentence by combining two simple sentences. Okay? Okay. It's very clear, right? Because yes. Simple. Now, if you ask me, teacher, why I'm using the same sentence as previous one? Because to make it easier for you to know the difference. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, let's look at the next one. All right. The third one is complex sentence. sentence. Okay. This is where students find it difficult. Okay. Okay. Okay, for a complex sentence, you must have an independent, one independent clause, mm -hmm. plus one dependent, dependent clause. Okay, this is where most of the candidates have problems. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they are not sure what is dependent clause. Mm -hmm. okay, right? okay. Dependent clause means part of sentence mm -hmm. that doesn't make sense on its own. Okay. I'll show you one, Afik. Okay. Now, just imagine, mm -hmm. okay, one day I'm walking in uh, Mid Valley. Yeah. I saw you, okay. Hi, Wani. Mm -hmm. And then? Hi, Madam. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Wani, I want to tell you a secret. Definitely, you're going to ask? What is the secret? What, yeah, what, what is, is the it? secret? Mm -hmm. Okay, suddenly, I'm telling you, Wani bark at me when I go past. Mm -hmm. Can you understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you? No. Yeah. Suddenly, one year, my secret oh, okay. is okay. My secret mm -hmm. is bark at me when I go past. Okay, it's not oh. a full sentence, ah. See? Right. So, means that you will going to ask me, what bark at you? Mm. Who bark at you? Mm -hmm. So this part, this is what we call dependent clause. Dependent. Okay. It doesn't make sense on its own. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. If the whole sentence. I'm telling you, Wani, I don't like dogs mm -hmm. that bark at me when I go past. past. Can you understand now? Yes. Yes. I don't like dogs that bark at me when okay. I go past. Maybe if the dogs sit quietly, mm -hmm. I might like the dogs. Alright? Wow, okay. Yeah, clear. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Okay, jadi sekarang ni kita nak berehat terlebih dahulu mm -hmm. sebab mungkin ada pelajar yang dah tak sabar juga. Betul. Semuanya kita akan sambung selepas okay. ini. Semuanya dalam Didik TV. TV. Kita jumpa nanti. Bertemu lagi kita dalam Didik TV. Mm -hmm. Dan kita masih lagi dalam misi yang sama bagaimana mm -hmm. untuk menguasai kertas bahasa satu Inggeris bahasa satu. Inggeris. Mm -hmm. ha. Betul. Jadi? Dan kali ini kita masih bersama dengan Madam Jojo. Okay, okay teacher. So, we're going to proceed with our lesson today. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, as I'm saying just now, we're talking about complex sentence. So, okay. I've explained to you. Yeah. Complex sentence need to have dependent clause, which is part of sentence that mm -hmm. doesn't make sense mm -hmm. on its own. Then only, we call it complex sentence. sentence. Okay. Provided they must use this, they must use, all right, that, okay, because although, although where which, which seems. Actually, there are more to it, mm -hmm. but this is the most common one, mm -hmm. right? So, they must use this in their sentence, then only we call it complex sentence. sentence. For example, I don't like dogs. Okay. okay, this is a simple sentence, everyone know. Mm -hmm. I don't like dogs. That, this is the coordinate subordinating conjunction, mm -hmm. and this is dependent clause. clause. So all together, you put the first one, simple sentence, okay. that subordinating conjunction, mm -hmm. and bark at me when I go past. Then you have your complex, complex sentence. sentence. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Now, why do you need to have this complex sentence? Mm. If you have this, you will get more language mark. Mm -hmm. right. That's all. Okay. This this is why it's important for mm -hmm. you to use okay these sentences. Mm -hmm. There's one more. This is after after complex sentence. You need to know more. All right. This is the fourth one, is it? Yes, yeah, the fourth okay. one. Mm -hmm. We call it compound complex, complex sentence. sentence, which means compound sentence combined with complex sentence. sentence. So you will have compound complex, complex sentence. sentence. Okay. Mm. There are three parts. Mm -hmm. First, you must have two simple sentences. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. You want to combine two simple sentences using coordinating conjunction mm -hmm. and or but so and. Just now, right? Mm -hmm. Then you combine with dependent clause. Clause. Then you have it. Okay. Okay. The first part. Again, I'm using the sentence, I don't like dogs. Simple sentence. Simple One sentence. simple sentence. And then, my sister doesn't like cat. 
Simple this is sentence. Simple sentence. Number two, you combine using? Because. Mm -hmm. And. Oh, and. And. I don't like dogs. And my sister doesn't like cat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Dependent clause. This is it. They, they make, make her, her sneeze. sneeze. Mm -hmm. Now, you want to know either you have the correct dependent clause, mm -hmm. you just take up the sentence, the phrase, and ask yourself. Just imagine someone telling you, they make her sneeze. Mm -hmm. Can you understand that? No. No. Who, who are they? Your, yeah, uh, who, who make you they? sneeze? Yeah. Yes. In this case, they. who are they? In this sentence. I... I don't like dogs. Because they... Dogs and cats. I don't oh. like dogs. I don't like dogs. Mm. And my sister doesn't like cat. Mm. Because they make her sneeze. So who make okay. my sister sneeze? The Dog animals. The animals. No, it's oh, the it's cat. Not... It's, oh, the it's only cat. the cat. Yes. Oh, okay. Because this one is a complete sentence. Yeah. Complete. I don't like dogs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Close case. Okay. okay. And my sister doesn't like cat. Mm. Because... They make her sneeze, so they here refer to the refer cat. To the cat. Cats. So just okay. explain about the cat. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So only cat make my sister sneeze. sneeze. All right. So this is what we call compound complex, complex sentence. sentence. Okay. Now, student always ask me, teacher, when are we going to use this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. This is when you are going to use. Now, for example. Okay. All right. For example, mm -hmm. this is. You have to write a talk or a speech, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Then, look at this. The first, the first paragraph we call it. What, what do we call the first paragraph? Introduction. Yes, very good. This is the intro. Introduction. Okay, introduction. introduction. Okay. Okay. Now, look at the first sentence. Look at the first sentence. Mm -hmm. Wendy, can you read the first sentence? Sure. Good morning, everyone. Okay. I am happy. Just the first sentence. Good morning. Oh, okay. Good, Good morning, morning, everyone. Okay. <laughs> so, what type of sentence is that? Mm, Good morning, simple everyone. Simple sentence. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good, Afik. It's simple wow, sentence. Wow. Bye, bye. Hey. Okay. <laughs> simple sentence. Okay. This is how you address. Mm -hmm. Good morning, everyone. Okay. And then everyone understand. Right? Okay. Now, let's look at the second one. Afik, can you read the second sentence? I am happy to be here today because I have something special and very useful to share with all of you. Okay. So, what type of sentence is that? Hmm, is it? Be That's because that here. Because. And then, and. that. And, ah. so, the first part is complex. Mm -hmm. The second part is compound. 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 It right. is compound complex sentence. Yes. Ah, jadi maksudnya kita boleh tahu lah macam mana kita nak guna yes. compound sentence yeah. macam complex okay, sentence. Okay, now in your essay, it is very important yeah. for you to use variety. Mm -hmm. okay. Don't use one type. Okay. okay. The keyword is variety. Mm -hmm. okay. Simple sentence, compound. Simple again, complex. Yes. Mm -hmm. Maksudnya, how... jadi itulah dia pelajar perlu tahu kepelbagaian. Uh, bahasa lah, kepelbagaian ayat, ayat, ayat. ayat. Yeah. perkataan Betul. untuk digunakan. Okay, so, this is your intro, alright? In your intro, you can see clearly combination of sentence being used. Mm. Type, first, you have your simple, and then you have your compound complex, and then mm -hmm. next will be the compound sentence. Okay, now, let's look at the second part. Mm -hmm. This is your content, alright? Your uh, points, okay? Mm -hmm. Uh, the title of this great book is Sign Made Simple and it is written by an equally great author, Professor Sharifah Shazana. Shazana. Okay, and definitely you know it's a... What type of sentence here? And? Um, simple? Simple sentence. Is it simple? No. Then <laughs> you have you combine two sentences together. It's a complex and compound. Compound sentence. Yeah. So this is your Pantai, la, compound sentence. Yeah. Very good, Alfie. Yeah. You are paying attention. All right, good. So this is how you use it in your AC. Mm -hmm. All right. Then only your AC mm -hmm. will get higher mark. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, for example, some student ask me, teacher, can I use all simple sentences? Mm -hmm. Of course you can. Mm -hmm. But definitely your mark. Is it high or low? Low. It's going to be low. low. Obviously. That's why. Mm -hmm. Obviously, because the keyword here, you should be able to use a variety. Mm -hmm. Simple, complex, simple again, simple and then compound. Mm -hmm. That's how you should do your essay. You should, that's how you should arrange your sentences in your 
Eh, si. Eh, si. Mm -hmm. Okey, faham. Right. Okay. Yeah. Kena yeah, tahu senang. kena tahu structure sentence tu sebenarnya. Macam yes. mana kita nak susun ayat tu sebenarnya. Yes, Dan macam mana kita nak gunakan compound sentence yes. dan juga complex sentence. Mm -hmm. Once you know it, mm -hmm. once you know you can easily write it down. Mm -hmm. The issue here because you do not know. Yes. You are not aware. Oh, by doing this you can get higher marks. Mm -hmm. That's it. So that's the secret that I'm sharing with all of you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sure it's all clear here. Yes, yeah. very right. clear, madam. Can I move to the next one? Sure. sure. Okay. The, the next one will be oh, Okay. Slide okay. Sahaja. How to study effectively. effectively. Ah, ini mungkin adalah masalah pelajar di luar sana yes. di sana Because dahil. now you're having all the trouble in this world. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm really, you know, I'm feel I'm feeling sad for this 2020 candidates, SPM mm -hmm. candidates, because mm -hmm. they don't have classes, mm -hmm. all right? Now only they're going to sit for their SPM in uh, 60 days time, yep. mm -hmm. all right? So everything is on them, yeah. all right? So they need to know how to study effectively. 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 Okay, the first one, okay? The first one is, the first and foremost for language, mm -hmm. you need to read the question carefully. Why, Wani? Why do we need to read the question carefully? Because in the question, there must be the keywords. Yes, very good. Okay. Now, by knowing the right words, then you know what the question want. Mm -hmm. The issue here, you should be able to answer the question. Mm -hmm. All right. So you need to know, you need to identify your task. What the question one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jadi macam mana sebenarnya kita nak dapat tahu di mana keywords dia? Yes, ini? that's why. That's why I will show you in the next slide. Okay, okay. how to find the keywords. Okay, mm -hmm. then you have to choose question that you can do. As, as I said, make sure you know how to do the questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't simply choose because oh, he did that. The person <laughs> next, oh, key number four. Yeah. I'm doing number four. Number two, I'm doing number two. Uh -huh. You have to remember, it's you who are going to answer the question. Yeah. Okay, yeah. only you, the paper, and God. That's it. Jangan ikut kawan. Jangan ikut kawan. Ikut diri sendiri. Ikut, ikut kata hati anda. Ya, yeah, betul. Yes, that's how. Okay, then the next one we go. This is the best part. Use your time wisely. Wisely. Mm. Right? Because this the whole paper, it's one hour and 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. 45 minutes for director writing. The second one, continuous writing, will give you one, one hour. hour. Mm -hmm. So please, make sure you practice. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now at home, practice writing an essay within 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. now, now, these are the few things that you need to know. Mm -hmm. you, I mean, common mistake that usually happen during exam. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Now, this is the habit of, I think, most of the candidates, okay? Mm -hmm. Most of the students will have this problem. Spelling. Mm -hmm. okay. Should I use American or British spelling? British yeah, confusion. Or American. British or American, which one is better? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now the answer is you can choose both. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can write using American spelling, mm -hmm. or you can choose British, British spelling. spelling. Mm -hmm. No problem. But you have to remember, once you choose British spelling, mm -hmm. make sure all along your essay you will stick to British spelling. Oh, okay. Okay. You, mix. No, you cannot, mix. cannot mix. You cannot, you cannot mix. mix. Okay. No, it must be consistent. Uh -huh. British from the beginning. British spelling until the end. Ah. Okay. okay. Simply. In case of the student mix the uh, spelling, they are making mistakes. And how about the marks? the marks? Marks will be deducted. Oh, rugi. Yes. That's why. Mungkin itu kerana Wani punya English dulu dapat A ngam-ngam je. Kalau Wani, Wani pilih British ke American? Wani tak tahulah Wani pilih dua-dua. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see. What is the difference between British mm -hmm. and American spelling? Now, for British, See, word that end with R E usually mm. word like center, all right? Okay. Okay. And U S is center. Center. T E R the T E R E. Okay. So that's different. This is U S spelling. Mm -hmm. That is American oh. spelling. Oh. Faham? Okay. Jadi sebenarnya British. ini bahagian yang agak menarik. Yes. Tapi kita akan sambung selepas ini Wani. Kita Betul. Kita rehat dulu. Yeah. Sebab saya tahu mungkin ramai juga pelajar di rumah sana macam nak. Confirm kan yeah, sebenarnya nak betul. guna British ke nak guna American spelling ni ah. tapi semuanya selepas ini dalam Didik TV. TV.
kembali lagi dalam Didik TV bersama saya, Wani Kerry. Dan juga saya, Afiq Shazwan. Okey, kali ini kita nak sambung pelajaran kita di mana sebelum ini sangat menarik sebab kita nak tahu perbezaan British dan American words. Jom kita teruskan dengan Madam Jojo kita. Okey, thank you, Wani. So, Alright. Now, we're getting back to this when we are talking about British mm -hmm. and American spelling. Okey, now, the first one will be those words that ends with R-E mm -hmm. in British spelling, we, we spell it T-R-E, for example, sentence C-N-T-R-E. -E. But for American, it's T-E-R. E-R. E-R. Yes. Mm -hmm. Actually, the meaning is the same, center. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You pronounce it the same also, center, mm -hmm. right? But the spelling differ. Oh, okay. okay. So you have to remember, if you want to use British spelling, make sure all along in your essay, you use one British mm -hmm. spelling. Okay. Don't mix American, British, okay? Mm -hmm. But we in Malaysia, we are learning British. British. Mm -hmm. English. So, yeah. so we are very familiar with words like O-U-R. In US, they drop the U. Mm -hmm. okay, for example, color. Now, color. Afik, do you remember? Do you remember how? Yeah. When you are in primary school, color. Which one did you use? C-O-L-O-U-R or C-O-L-O-R? O-U-R. O-U-R. Yes. So, the, but is this wrong? C O L O R? No, 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 it's not wrong. Because this is simply an American spelling. Mm -hmm. Sebab apa? Apa yang saya ingat lah, teacher. Yes. Sebab teacher saya selalu pesan lebihkan kepada pembelajaran ejaan British. Yes, mm -hmm. because we are using British, British. English. Okay. But nothing's wrong. You cannot say that's wrong. No, mm -hmm. it's still the same. You pronounce it the same. Color, not. Color, no, yeah. colors. Color. Both are colors. We mm -hmm. call it colors. Okay. Same goes to flavor. British, O U R, mm -hmm. but for American, o -R. they are a bit lazy, right? <laughs> so they make it short form. Mm -hmm. Flavor, just flavor. like that, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Humor, humor. Labor, labor. Neighbor, neighbor. So nothing is wrong mm -hmm. with using American spelling, mm -hmm. but. My advice, please make sure you know either that one is a British spelling or it's an American spelling. So mm -hmm. Because you want to use it consistently in your essay. Do not mix. Okay. Baik, jadi lebih kepada pelajar punya kebiasaan lah. Betul. Cuma yes. mereka terbiasa untuk menggunakan American spelling, habiskan anda punya essay dengan American spelling. Betul. Yang penting jangan think. campur. Yes. Jangan campur. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So I hope you are clear with this. Okay. Very clear. This Madam. is one of the common mistake mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. most of the candidate they say oh this is not important just the spelling remember the more mistake you make the more mark will be deducted that's why mm -hmm. now let's look at the second one now this is a major problem to everyone mm -hmm. tenses usually they got confused yes i want to use past tense or present, present tense, tense. Mm -hmm. okay now let me ask you a question afid mm. you are writing a report Mm -hmm. yep. You are reporting on something. So what type of tense you will use? Ha, ha, ha. Past tense. Yes, very true. <laughs> because the thing had happened. Yeah. It's over and done. Because it's a report. Yes, teacher. that's it's why you report. are writing a report. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are reporting of some, some incident that had happened. Betul. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Settle, then you are writing the report. Definitely you must use past tense. Jadi ingat kawan-kawan kita menulis perkara yang sudah berlaku. Jadi kita yes. perlu menggunakan past tense. Past tense. Itu paling okay. penting. Alright. Now, Wani, mm -hmm. let's say you want to write an article. Article? About a beautiful beaches in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. So what type of sentence, tenses will you use? Tense will you use? For article, I think I am going to use present tense. Yes, mm -hmm. very true. Present tense because you are telling everyone about what you see. Mm -hmm. Okay, for example, you choose Port mm -hmm. beautiful beach there, right? Yeah. So you are explaining the current situation. Yes. Not in the past. Mm -hmm. Okay, you are telling what happened now. So definitely, I advise you to use present tense. tense. Now, okay. uh, sometimes when you are writing a story, mm -hmm. it's a story, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So logically, you must use past or present? Mm, maybe past. Maybe past, mm -hmm. maybe present. A story. A story, cerita. Story is something that telah berlaku. Yeah, telah yes, berlaku. definitely. So it has it happened. So it, you must use past, past tense. tense. Mm -hmm. For example, I think since you are in kindergarten, 
you start your story once upon a time. Mm -hmm. That's it. So the thing had happened. Past tense. Jadi sebenarnya itulah dia. Kita kena tahu cerita yang kita nak menceritakan itu sama ada dah berlaku atau belum, belum berlaku. berlaku. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then let's look at the next one. Now, a lot of candidates or students misunderstood the question. They don't know where is the keyword. Mm -hmm. What is the keyword? Now, I'm going to show you these questions. Okay, this is directed writing, 2007 mm. SPM. Right. Okay. So, Wani, do you still remember format marks for uh, for uh, talk? How mm. many marks? Um, for talk. Because Wani tak selalu buat talk, yeah. selalu kami dikeluarkan soalan lain. Okay. So I'm not so sure about talk. Okay, the format, the format mark. Just now, mm -hmm. only article, mm -hmm. two marks, mm -hmm. right? The rest? Talk, same with speech. Yes. Is it? Yeah. So, so it's three marks for three. the format. So now, first, when you're looking at this, the keyword, all right, for this particular question, a talk. Talk. Okay. Now. Do you know the difference between talk and speech? I don't know, Jim. Mm. All right. Talk, it's for informal mm -hmm. okay. function, which means you are talking to someone your level mm -hmm. or someone lower in rank than you. Mm -hmm. But if you are asked to write a speech, mm -hmm. you have to remember, the moment you see the word speech, it's supposed to be formal. 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 Mm -hmm. formal. Speech formal, where you have to address the audience. Mm -hmm. Okay, there must be someone higher in rank than you. Yeah. In school, you have your principals, your senior assistant, all right? Mm -hmm. But if you're giving a talk, let's say you are the head prefect, okay? Mm -hmm. You are going to give a talk about school discipline yeah. to form one student. So you can address them informal. Okay. Mm. Hi everybody. That's okay. a talk, a talk. right? Mm -hmm. But if you're writing a speech, a very good morning to our principal and so on, mm -hmm. right? So that's different. Okay. The format is still the same, mm -hmm. right? Now, as I said, you have to identify this. That's the keyword, right? Talk on what you are talking about? Reference, reference book. book. What? Type of ref reference books, reference book here. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm. secondary school, and then science, science. book. Science book. So okay. you cannot change the question into geography, chemistry, biology. No, mm -hmm. because some students they think ah, I don't like science. I want to change to biology. How much money do you say? Markah sudah semestinya salah. Yes, ha. you are not answering the, the question, question. Afi. Simple. You must answer the question. Mm -hmm. The moment you do not answer the question, you change. That's it. Means the whole. Not the essay? whole. Maybe some of the mark. Half mm -hmm. of the mark will be gone definitely. Yeah. Okay. Half. Because you are not answering. Mm -hmm. We don't want that. You want all your marks to be mm. with you, right? Yes. Okay. Now, so please focus. Stick to whatever it's given. This is the point. C1 until C10 is the point given. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have to remember, format will give you three marks. Content will give you 12 marks. 12. Language will give you 20 marks. So total, you will have 35 marks. marks. Directed writing. writing. So, look at the content. Mm -hmm. How many content is given there? Ten. Is it enough? Mm, no. It's not enough. How many another did two. you need to add? We two. need another two. Yes, it's written there. That's why I said read your question. Mm -hmm. The problem with candidates, okay, they are so nervous mm -hmm. during the exam. They don't read carefully. They just look talk straight away. Right? Yeah. Okay. You have to look at the questions. So here, let's look at the format. All right. Okay. We are looking at the format. Okay. Now, format content is 12. Okay, see? Format, greetings, the purpose of the talk, mm -hmm. thank you. All right? Mm -hmm. Now, greeting. How do you greet? As I said, it is a talk, so you can talk. start with? A very good morning mm -hmm. yes. to my fellow friends. Uh, this is the one is quite formal. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is informal talk. You are talking to form one students, so how do you oh. say? Good morning to all Form 1 students. Yes. Or you can say simply, Hi, everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm Afik, and today I'm going to talk about... Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. So make it simple. Okay. Right? So for the first one, you have the greeting. Yep. The moment you have the greeting, 
the moment you say hi or good morning, mm -hmm. one mark will be given. given. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Isn't that simple? Very simple. Very simple. Yes. <laughs> okay, the second one, you need to talk about the purpose. Why are you giving the stock? Mm -hmm. So, Afik, based on this question, mm -hmm. what is the reason you're talking? I'm here today because I want to talk about... Science book. A science reference book. A science book. reference mm -hmm. book. It must come from the questions. Mm. Okay. You cannot simply change. I want to talk about geography book. Geography mm -hmm. book. I want to talk about history book. chemistry book. Yeah, history <laughs> book. No. Mm -hmm. You must use that. Okay. okay. The moment you have the purpose, another one mark will be given. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. It's easy, right? Yep. And the last one, you need to write thank you. Thank you. You end your speech, you <laughs> must say, Thank, Thank you. you. But the problem is, sometimes you are rushing for time. Mm -hmm. You forgot. The candidates forgot to write thank you. So you miss one mark. Mm. Mm. Now, if you are too lazy to write thank you, you can always write thanks. Oh, okay. Thanks. Yeah. But thanks cannot can for speech, right, madam? Yes. Because mm. it is quite informal. 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 But for, for, for talk, no problem. Thanks. One mark. There. So mm -hmm. you have all your three points there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Easily, mm -hmm. right? Now, talking about these questions, you have only ten. Content. You need to add two. Mm -hmm. So quickly, before you start writing, you only have 45 minutes. So quickly, you must think, write down the two extra points. Mm -hmm. Okay. See? I give two reasons. Mm -hmm. Affordable price, affordable price, compact, Easy, easy to, to carry. carry. So, all together, I have all the 12 points. points. All right, all the 12 points are mm -hmm. given. Clear. Okay. The next part, usually candidates say, Allah, this one is not important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is very important. That is your paragraphing. Oh, okay. okay. You must put it in paragraph. As I said, you must have at least five paragraphs. Mm -hmm. Right? First one is your intro. Your intro will be, Good morning, everyone. Yeah. I'm Afik, or I'm Wani. Today, I'm going to talk about a science reference book. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's your intro. Okay. Then you start with your first point. The title of the book is Sign Made Simple. So I put point one, point two, point okay. three in paragraph two. Mm -hmm. Then I put C5, C4 until C8 in paragraph three. Mm -hmm. And the last one, I put C9 to C12 in paragraph Four. Mm -hmm. And then I'm giving the conclusion. conclusion. Baik, so sekarang sebenarnya kita nak rehat terlebih dahulu. Okay. Sebab selepas ini ada, ada lagi tips yes, dan juga yes, formula daripada yes. cikgu. Daripada Madam Jojo. Madam Jojo. Okay. Okay. Semuanya dalam Didik TV. Didik. Okay, bertemu lagi kita dalam Didik, Didik TV. TV. Okey, sekarang ni kita masih lagi nak teruskan pembelajaran kita bagaimana untuk menguasai kertas bahasa Inggeris, kertas satu. satu. Mm -hmm. okay, kita masih lagi bersama dengan Madam Jojo. Jojo. Okay, thank you Wani and Afiq again. Okay. Yes, no problem. Like I was explaining to you just now, this mm. is regarding director writing. Mm. Now we have another essay which yes. is section right. B. Yes, continuous writing. writing. Okay. Now, the issue with continuous writing it's a long question. It's mm -hmm. quite long. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, the problem is students or candidates do not know how many parts of the questions. Mm -hmm. How many, how to find the keywords. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. let's look at the sample question. This is a uh, SPM 2018 question. Okay. Now, can Afik read the question for me? Describe a problem you once had while you were traveling. Okay. Explain what you did to solve the problem and what you have learned from the experience. Mm -hmm. Okay, Wani, can you guess how many parts in these questions? Mm. How many parts? Parts. Yeah, how many parts? Mm, four parts. Okay. Is it right? Okay, it's right, four parts, but can you tell me? Mm. The keyword for the first part. The first part is about the travelling no. or experience? No. No. Okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will explain a bit okay. later. Okay, I got confused here. Yeah? Yes, no worry. That's why, that's why I said it's very normal mm -hmm. for students like you mm -hmm. or you have, you know, in universities also you have to study to answer yes. the questions. Okay. You need to understand the questions. Okay. Then only you can give the correct answer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's how it goes, all right? So now, in answering 
directed writing. Let's say you have chosen this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are four steps. Mm -hmm. Okay, the process. The first one, you have to break down into parts. You need mm -hmm. to know how many parts in this question. Okay. Mm -hmm. The second one, you need to write a brief draft. draft. You were asking just now, Afiq, mm -hmm. how to write a brief draft. Yeah. Okay, I will show you. Then, you need to check your tenses. Mm -hmm. Okay, what type of tense are you going to use here? Oh. This uh, thing, this incident uh, had happened or... It's, it is it's past, already, tense. past yes, tense. Yes, very good, yeah. past tense. Because you are telling about a problem, mm -hmm. you once had while you were traveling. Mm -hmm. Not now. Yes. You it's have done that. Experience. Yes, your experience. Then number four, after you get to know all the three, mm -hmm. then only you start writing. writing. That's the first part. You mm -hmm. must mention how many problems? Mm -hmm. Okay. A problem. Uh, only one. one. Only one. So don't be too excited. Okay. Mm -hmm. You give three problems. Mm -hmm. Why did only you? Only one. Right. You don't have enough time. time. One hour. Focus on one problem. Problems. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then the second one. While you were traveling. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not the question. Do, do not want to know about what happened before you go travel mm -hmm. or what happened after you came back from your travel. It must happen while, while. during, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. For example, mm -hmm. you went to Indonesia last month. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then what happened there? Not what happened when you come back to your house. Mm -hmm. No, we don't want okay. to do that. We want to know what happened when you were in Indonesia. That is the second. The third one is what you did, mm -hmm. your action, okay, that is the third one. And then, number four, what you have learned. learned. So you had a problem, you have while you were traveling, what, what you, you did, did, and what, what you, you have, have learned. learned. Okay, please remember, you need to answer all these four. Mm -hmm. Let's see, you just answer problem while you were traveling, and what you did but you never write down about what you have learned. Mm -hmm. What do you think happened to your marks? It's mm. going to be deducted or Of not? course, you won't yeah. get 50 marks <clears throat> because you are not answering all, all the, the questions. Whole, mm -hmm. So that's why I always remind all candidates, okay, regardless of whatever exam they are sitting, please read the question. Carefully. Carefully. Okay, this is my favourite part. Yes. yes. Okay, <laughs> now, usually, students will say, Teacher, we don't want to do draft. draft. It's a waste of time. No, this will help. You have to remember, mm -hmm. you are in examination hall, mm -hmm. e exam room. Sometimes you can't remember anything. Mm -hmm. Right? While you are writing, what is my next point? What happened? <laughs> you don't know. Yeah. So that's why before you start writing your essay, write down. Based on what? Based on part of the questions. Mm -hmm. The first part, what is the problem? A problem, lost backpack. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then what happened to the backpack? Maybe you left it in a taxi, taxi. Mm -hmm. or you left it in your hotel room. Mm -hmm. What's inside the bag? A, a, a valuable. Yes, like you have your money and your passport. passport. Okay, now what are you going to do when you, if this happened to you? Hmm. What you did, I mean, this is my exam. I mean, okay, while you were traveling, so okay. you leave the place, mm -hmm. right? It can be anything. Okay. You can go to London if you want. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just giving one place, Osaka, Japan, and then you are alone. Mm -hmm. And it is your first time. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Pretty this fellow. Right? <laughs> okay. so, so, if this happened to you, have you uh, traveled to Japan before? Uh, not Japan, but another country. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just imagine, mm -hmm. Wani, you are the one. Mm -hmm. You went to Japan for the first time. Yeah. And you are alone. Yes. And you lost your backpack. What oh, okay. are you going to do? That's a big trouble. Yes. So what I, I What should I do? <laughs> I think, yeah, what are you going to do? I'm going screaming. It's you, you're going to scream. No, 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 no. Are you sure you want to scream? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of How course. Long? Mm -hmm. How long you want to scream? It's only one, two minutes. Scream okay. won't help you. Okay. Is it long? Okay. After <laughs> you finish, you are done with your screaming, what will you do next? I will make a police report. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is the most logical things to do. Mm -hmm. yep. After you lost something, definitely you will make a police report. report. Okay. Okay. So definitely you will do a police 
three three board. Board. So that is the most logical thing. And then, you just imagine you are in Japan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you think they can speak English well? Or oh. you want to complain to them in BM? No. Mm, that's quite hard. Yeah. yeah. What will you do, Afe? I'm gonna use... I'm gonna use a, some... Google Translate. Google Translate <laughs> yes, that... to translate all my English words and <laughs> explain to the Show policeman. Yes, yeah, so that is what happened. Okay, you made a report very difficult mm -hmm. because you have language, language problem. problem. Yes. They don't understand you and you do not understand Japanese, okay? Mm -hmm. And then miscommunication. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Then finally, you managed to explain to them what you have learned. You need to be extra careful when you are traveling, especially when you are traveling alone. alone. Mm -hmm. Then you can start writing, writing. your essay. Ini lah dia cara untuk yeah. kita membuat sesebuah rangka untuk menyiapkan sesebuah essay. essay. Dan bila kita ada rangka sangat pantas ya, Wan yakin kita dapat tulis segalanya dalam masa yang diberikan. Mm -hmm. That's the best way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jadi, okay. uh, teacher, hmm. selalunya apakah uh, kesilapan lazim yang selalu uh, student akan buat? Okay, mm -hmm. macam like I said, I'm saying just now, okay. Mm. The most important thing because when they do not look at the part of the questions, mm -hmm. they look at problem, only the problem. Mm -hmm. They never mention maybe what they have learned mm -hmm. or what did they do mm -hmm. after they have the problem. Mm -hmm. All right. So, all right. Then uh, we are at the last part okay. of our session. Mm. Final preparation. preparation. Okay, final preparation. Not final destination. <laughs> final <laughs> preparation. preparation. Okay. What are you supposed to do now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm because you only have like one month class before the exam. So there are a few things that can help you to master your English, mm -hmm. which is first, you must read a lot of sample essays. essays. Okay. Mm -hmm. Especially the past year essays, look through. Mm -hmm. Take some time and read. Because for what? You need to find all the ideas yeah. in writing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you do your own drills on grammar, mm -hmm. right? What does it mean by drills on grammar, okay. madam? For Sit example. down quietly, take a grammar book, do exercise mm -hmm. okay, to make sure you sharpen your skill in your grammar. Mm -hmm. oh. You do not have to read anything mm -hmm. because by now, reading won't help you. Yeah. Just take one grammar book, do the exercises, the simple one, so you know yeah. you're going to master your mm -hmm. grammar. Okay. okay. And then the next one, get your dictionary, mm -hmm. look into few words that you are interested in, mm -hmm. look at the meaning and try to use it mm -hmm. in your sentence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the last one, at least, please write one paragraph for your essay. Mm -hmm. Every day. Every day, Every day. one paragraph. One paragraph. In dalam masa sebulan ni, cuba dapatkan yes. sehari at least satu yeah. paragraph. One paragraph. Okay. Betul, dia lebih elok kalau buat setiap hari hmm. Sebab perkara yang kita um, berlatih Praktikan. setiap hari Benda tu sebenarnya boleh menguatkan ingatan kita Dan Betul. kita tak payah nak risau perkataan apa bombastik yang nak guna Sebab benda tu dah menjadi kebiasaan kita semasa menulis Ya, yeah. mm -hmm. alright so, okay. so, this is it This is mm -hmm. what I'm going to share Because I really hope that whatever I've explained here mm -hmm. The candidates, the students will use it mm -hmm. right? okay. In India, SPM Oh, okay. okay, terima kasih okay. Madam mm -hmm. Jojo Jadi itulah dia cara-cara dan teknik bagaimana untuk kita menguasai subjek bahasa Inggeris kertas satu, satu. Mm -hmm. uh, Cuma kita nak tanya dengan Madam Jojo okay. Apa yeah. last word lah untuk okay. semua cara-cara Okay, my cara advice SPM. to mm -hmm. everyone It's please don't think English is difficult mm -hmm. Please don't leave the question without trying to answer mm -hmm. Because you will get some mark mm -hmm. if you follow the step I've told you just now. Mm -hmm. So please think that you can do it. Yes. Okay, because everyone can do English especially. Yes. Right. So okay. With that, I would like to say good luck to SPM 2020 mm -hmm. candidates. Okay, And I hope you will score in your English. Yay, okay. itu dia. Itulah dia. Jadi kami harap sebenarnya tips dan juga panduan ini dapat memberikan manfaat kepada anda semua supaya dapat memperolehi keputusan cermelah. Yes, jadi jangan lupa untuk sentiasa berlatih untuk bertutur dalam bahasa Inggeris Betul. dan biasakan untuk membuat latihan uh, penulisan bahasa Inggeris untuk mendapatkan skor yang cermelang. Jadi kita akan jumpa pada 
pada uh, itu uh, lepas ni. Okey, uh-huh. selepas ini kita akan sambung lagi untuk uh, subjek bahasa Inggeris yeah. kertas 2 Good. tapi kita akan bersama dengan guru pakar yang lain. Betul. Siapakah beliau? Semuanya dalam Didik, Didik TV. TV.